Yeah. yeah. Don't swear. Here yeah, at the Jolly Boys show, I've just bumped into the best, the best box writer in the country, boxing writer. Not Glenn Leach, not Kevin Francis, not Boxing News Ed, not none of you lot, this is the man. No, only joking. Happy Christmas everyone, by the way. I'll tell you what, he puts a fantastic show on Steve Wood. One of the highlights of the boxing colour of the Jolly Boys. I mean, we're here at Bolton's football ground today. Uh, enough to be 800 people in here. Fantastic, it's the best dinner show of the year. Steve really looks after his punters and he's a promoter who deserves to do well anyway because he puts so much into it. You know, he's too good maybe to his fighters sometimes. sometimes I think sometimes some fighters see his kindness as a weakness. And he is like a really genuine bloke, isn't he? Most genuine bloke you'll ever meet in boxing. I know he's a friend of mine beyond boxing, but I generally, he generally is. And you know that, Jane, he, he won't have a kid over for anything. I say, he's, he's too nice to him. And he puts on this show every year with a lot of the locals, some soul food. He invites me down, invited me down today in my accountant and my father-in-law. Um, we're, we're having a cracking day and we've got four or five great fights. Comedian Max Pressure I saw years ago. Who, really funny. Yeah, really oh, funny. Yeah. Go and, um, and another thing, he's got like he's got Ricky out here, Steve Foster, he's got all the slim Ryan Rhodes, Curtis, whatever. I mean that just shows the mark of the man, doesn't it? Yeah, they all come out every year. I mean Ricky has a table every year. I think Ricky rang up even rang up from Las Vegas the other day to make sure he had his table here for the night. He, he has a, I think Ricky has his Christmas day out today of all his mates every year. Yeah, they've all had a few over there. They're all on it. Ryan Rhodes is the best. He's fucking pissed as a rat. Ah, uh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. I can't have that one. Ryan being drunk. No, yeah, he's over there. He's, 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 his body's a temple. No, Ian, not today, Ian. Uh, I think you're fibbing. I'm not, not letting. Well, listen, Steve, have a good day and. You know, thanks for supporting Steve and that. I was at your show the other day, you were there. No, uh, where was I on Friday night? And I'll tell you where I was Friday. I was sitting indoors doing nothing, so I've got no excuse. That's I've wrong. Excuse, That's know. wrong, Steve. You should have been at your show. Oh, a great Friday. show as well. Hey, always good shows he put on. I mean, Jeff Thomas won on that show, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Jeff. And the fight of the night was Andrew Patterson, Lee Bennett. Right. Well, yeah. Small old Patterson, fight of the year. Patterson oh, went great. Powerful Patterson went on. Great fight. How did Kenny Anderson get on? He didn't fight because he's boxing George Gross for the title. A lot of money for that fight. Be a bit of a purse bid war, I think, for that one. Can't wait. Yeah, going to be a good break. All right, you have a good... And have a great Christmas.